All right, I guess uh, we can get started and uh, let others join in. Uh, so yeah, uh, today we just want to talk about um, uh, like how uh, portal is up with the game. Uh, address some of the concerns regarding the current issues that are going on. Uh, what we've been uh, doing in the past few weeks and uh, some of the updates that are coming in the future. And we'll also cover a little bit about uh, uh, what we've done with the new CV Army program. Uh, all right, to start with, uh, uh, this week we had a, a small uh, migration, uh, sorry, a maintenance break where uh, we've uh, kind of updated our architecture uh, to resolve a lot of the problems that users were facing. So uh, this involves uh, the thing with seed, uh, not being able to plant seed and uh, other such issues. So uh, we have, uh, uh, we are now monitoring things and we are seeing that the issues have reduced. So if there are, you can uh, still uh, just raise a ticket to support and uh, we'll be working on that. And uh, uh, with regards to support also, uh, we know that it's uh, like for a lot of uh, users right now, it's uh, kind of taking a little uh, longer to get resolutions to uh, to your support request. So uh, we are uh, now, you know, trying to reduce that time uh, uh, in, in the coming weeks. So we'll uh, be focusing on that and uh, trying to resolve uh, all the uh, current issues and any issues in uh, the least time possible. Uh, so the current, uh, uh, there's one more problem with the grinding is what we are working on and we'll have a, a fix for that uh, also coming. So uh, right now we are um, uh, taking some measures to fix it for those who are, uh, who have it stuck. Uh, we'll be resolving the uh, uh, that issue as well in the coming week. All right, and uh, uh, we are uh, also uh, joined with uh, by Sandeep, and Sandeep will be uh, talking a little bit about uh, what's coming in terms of the economic uh, optimizations and uh, and some of the uh, future game features as well. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. So, like uh, to see you all in the uh, Telegram community today. So like uh, earlier, it has been a long time since we had these uh, Telegram uh, catch up. We had like we are having this catch up in Discord or Twitter, right? Uh, but right, uh, I mean, among all this, right? Uh, I get excited when I come to a call on Telegram. Yeah, fine. So as Kevin said, right, like uh, we have seen like a, a bit of a few down times actually uh, from last two months, right? I can say like uh, it's all ended actually. Like we have uh, recently did a mig architectural mi migration, so the system should be uh, stable. And uh, we have deployed these changes a couple of changes a couple of days back, and the team is continuously monitoring. And we have seen that uh, there is a load and everything is balan balancing quite well. At the same time, right, we have uh, the issues from the user also dramatically reduced. Of course, like uh, there is uh, the users, uh, the issues what we have got uh, before this migration, that mean I can say like a couple of weeks ago has been still on queue to solve by uh, support team. But right uh, from last two days, right, we have seen uh, uh, zero, zero uh, issues actually from last two days. So I hope that the same will be continuing. And uh, with this uh, now, right, it's a high time, like uh, it's if, uh, once everything is established, right, we are continuously deploying your features. And we are targeting uh, to deploy a one, at least one feature, one new feature every week, just like how we did like uh, a year back. So uh, in year back, like uh, most of the new users might be known that right. We used to have like uh, continuous uh, uh, releases. At least we will be planning a once in a week. So the same uh, now as the system and everything has been stabilized. Uh, we are uh, expected to do the same actually. So we are targeting to do a smaller or bigger release, right? We are targeting to release uh, one feature a week, just like uh, before. Is you okay? And uh, when it comes to this economy optimization, sir, uh, I have seen like uh, there is a lot of discussions and chats going on in the community regarding the economy optimization. That's mainly like uh, for uh, power for these uh, power input for water as well as like uh, uh, some maintenance charge for these uh, power assets. So although right uh, from last six months uh, to I mean I think like uh, last uh, approximately seven months right 
we are uh, continuously informing a team by somehow like uh, it might be in the means of AMS or it might be, uh, I mean, in AMS, right, we are saying that the same actually, but the implementation of uh, this thing has been delayed. And as uh, we are not doing this suddenly and or uh, it is not something planned and this is uh, this is what uh, this is how it was planned actually since the beginning and most of the new users know that right but uh, uh, we have uh, delayed the implementation for uh, uh, some reasons. So uh, just want to give one clarity like uh, based on the discussions what I have seen right like it might be an extra input and it might be costing uh, more to the user. Uh, it might be costing uh, user need to give some more input and a lot of the charts I'm seeing. But as per if you check, like uh, if you look back uh, a year ago, right, I think in the month of uh, March 2021, right, uh, we have provided an extra use case for water at the time. So uh, at that time, right, there is uh, uh, animals, uh, animals consum consuming only feed. And it is not consuming any water at the at the, at the time. So, like uh, last year March, right? We have increased. Uh, we have uh, put that uh, water consumption for animals also. So the same thing is happened. Like when we announced that, right? Like uh, the same thing has been uh, happened. Uh, uh, like a uh, lot of people's like uh, uh, disappointed, or a lot of people were was not so happy with the call. But right, uh, we used to say at the time, right? Just uh, just wait and see the result. So as as we said, right, like uh, once it comes, like uh, once we implemented this, right, uh, water has water has got good demand, and as the water is become a valuable, right, the output which is coming at the end, that means like uh, uh, animal extracts are become like more valuable, and it took like uh, another direction since last uh, year March. You can see like uh, compare the graphs of the assets or uh, extracts on uh, on the, uh, from last year march so on the trade pairs so you can understand like uh, what is the kind of a value it created when we have added like one more layer on the economy by adding just water as input to these uh, animal consumption so similarly right i just want to compare the same with so similarly right similar kind of a value we are going to create uh, even though right it will be a bit pain for a user they need to purchase that in the market right so in order to make it very simple right the power consumption right is not so uh, too high actually we are keeping it as uh, very low to start with so we can able to see so if uh, if so so far right water is maintain uh, at uh, water is maintaining its value even though right there is no input and it's uh, like a one time deployment so imagine like uh, how valuable your water is if it is consuming a power as input so it will become a more valuable. So I don't, uh, what and all you are spending extra, right? This is, for example, you are spending some 10% extra as input, right? It may get like, uh, it may uh, value, overall value of water may increase like uh, 15%. So overall, right, it will be a win-win situation to the user who is holding these assets. And how I can see is, right, it will be a win-win situation for user as well as like it will be a great win for the overall ecosystem and this uh, economy chain. So that is what proved uh, last time when we have added these uh, uh, water for the animal water consumption for the animals. So the same thing, right? We are very con team is very confident that the same thing is going to be a repeat actually. So so that's how, right? I don't see. Uh, I don't uh, think this is a bad move. And uh, as per the metrics or numbers, what it is stating is also right. It is a good thing only, but right. Uh, it's obviously right. Uh, few users don't know like how it works, and I mean how it works means like uh, few users may see just we are adding some extra input, but right uh, by adding that extra input, right, uh, they we can able to see later right the value of the output also. I mean there will be like more value for this output that users will see later. So that I'm very confident. We are very confident on that. So that's the one thing. And one more thing, like uh, since uh, last uh, uh, couple of months, right, because of the downtimes and the issues and what we uh, uh, because of what we had in the platform, uh, what are the issues we have uh, uh, on the platform, right? There is like a couple, multiple downtimes because of those things right? we have made feed is also not mandatory. So now uh, with the recent migration, right, I hope right that all the systems are stabilized. And we are going to continuously monitor these uh, systems in for uh, next uh, two or three days. So if uh, if everything is good, right? Uh, so that means like uh, our systems will not have like a downtime in the near future. At least it will be having it. At least it, it should be tolerating these like uh, four to five x of load. 
so since then right like uh, it, uh, it, it is good so right we are going to resume these uh, uh, feed feed now so far right, the feed is not mandatory so we are going to uh, make it as a mandatory so once the feed is getting mandatory right, all the economy ch chain will be picking up uh, so right uh, uh, so all the good things are about to happen that's what we believe in so please be patient and please be patient and uh, what is the thing you need to trust is like uh, uh, the same thing i mean uh, the economy chain what you are seeing right it, uh, we have crafted it beautifully by taking like a lot of measures and the same thing has been worked uh, for last uh, three end of year so from last of course like we have some downtime so because of the uh, uh, rapid load on the whole platform so which is also not so bad thing because right every growing product every growing product or project right should be will be going through this kind of uh, situation at least uh, once in a lifetime if this kind of situation if uh, a project is not facing right that means they are not growing so i'm not ashamed to just uh, to address this downtime so um so just right i believe uh now everything right uh, only thing what is the cost uh, uh, only thing what makes the value of a few extracts are down extracts or uh, these crops are down is because of these uh, uh, we have disabled this feed mandatory uh, thing so although now it is a uh, grazing was there right it is only for one week actually so obviously user need to uh, uh, take that uh, users will be well should be welcoming welcoming back that animals to their sheds and uh, so it will be not affecting so i hope right uh, now it's again it's uh, all the economy chain is going to be a uh, pick up actually just like how uh, like, uh, earlier days so that is uh, uh, what i just want to convey and other changes also uh, just want to go through like uh, what are the changes is about to come so one is like uh, power collection power input for this uh, water collection and uh, like some other maintenance uh, input for the power assets as we stated and we have uh, ch recently changed uh, uh, starter packs to these uh, usdt and we are going to change these uh, all i mean from last uh, uh, from last uh, one year right uh, these starter packs has been the same so we are going to ch it's not good to be uh, same assets to be on circulation uh, keep on stacking up so we are going to change these a few assets in the combinations of the starter pack and um, that we are going to bring live and we the reason why we have made it in a usdt right uh, uh, so with the up with, uh, for the upcoming releases right uh, just we know like every cbx is valuable and uh, we want to save some cbx from the users so that right they can able to use that cbx for the upcoming asset mining and all the stuff and as such mining all the stuff so if you can uh, so the cbx what you are spending on starter packs right is coming to the crowbytes uh, ecosystem and we are not spending uh, or anything on that right it is just stacking into with us actually uh, same time right uh, uh, there is like a plenty of cbx is coming so uh, we just want to save some cbx for the upcoming asset mining burn and everything so by keeping in that in the mind right so like we are changing that to a usdt temporarily and uh, we'll, uh, this changes temporarily at a in order to be balancing out that right we will be switching the two usdt sometimes to cbx and sometimes uh, cbx to usdt so that is a change of first starter packs and uh, all the asset supply so for example uh, now there is a cows and uh, other assets like uh, lands wells lakes trees turbines and everything so for everything right we are going to announce uh, the per, uh, permanent supply like uh, what is the supply in these pre at the present in the system and what is the mineable supply and what will be the total supply all the assets in the ecosystem can be mineable uh, by uh, till uh, can be mineable and we are going to start asset mining also very soon and uh, uh, it will be taking uh, four years to mine all the assets in the ecosystem so that is how we have planned and more details we, we will be updating in these uh, updated white next version of a white paper so detail clear cut detailed or uh, clear cut details will be given updated in this uh, white paper and uh, we are going to change these uh, referral activities uh, so referral activities are also going to we are going to uh, tweak a bit uh, and one more uh, thing is like uh, as i said right once we announce these uh, supply of these assets right same time we are going to uh, tokenize these assets also like all the assets in the game right will become tokenized as soon as we announce the assets right uh, within a few days right that uh, we will be making these uh, assets also tokenized so these are the these are the upcoming updates which i mean these are the upcoming uh, release plans so what we are going to implement
so mainly what i can say is like uh, it, it took like uh, uh, some time for us to fix this to make the system stabilize uh, with these uh, so it took some time for us to tackle the rapid load which uh, which increased in from last few months but right now i think uh, there is no more uh, downtime so which will be uh, uh, that is what, which is a good thing which is happened for at least from the developer side that i can able to assure you so as that is fixed right so we are hoping that everything will be back on track and just run like a normal uh, and just run, uh, we are expecting it to run normal how it used to run like a few months ago thank you so these are all the things which i want to convey from my side thank you so kevin uh, you can take over yes. thank you all right thanks uh, so i hope you guys are excited for all that's coming and all the changes that uh, sandeep has just announced uh, so let's continue this with the last section that we are going to uh, cover some updates on uh, what uh, we've been up to with the community uh, so uh, in the past few months uh, there has been uh, like uh, a little less engagement from the community so we are going to start a few activities that we were doing before uh and we'll also be adding a couple of uh, more activities and uh, events uh, for our community uh like you remember we used to have these weekly uh, activities where uh, you could post your meme uh, you could uh, uh, post something about your farm or share some stuff so a lot of these activities we will be starting and uh, also uh, the content uh, creator uh, uh, pool so we have uh, a bunch of rewards for content creators who create videos blogs uh, and other content uh, for cropped so uh, we'll also be restarting all these activities as well and uh, if you guys are on discord you might have seen that there are a uh, new uh, uh cb army program changes that are made in discord right now uh so the new the whole participation uh bit is now uh moved to discord so you can uh sign up over there uh and like uh, also fill in your activities uh through discord only and uh your new or uh, the onboarding for army soldiers will also be uh, done through discord uh we will be also adding a couple of uh, more engagement activities over there uh, like you might have seen uh, the new one that's a uh, question of the day so uh, do participate in that so there's uh, like the most engaged farmer uh, will win uh, a reward every week uh, on that channel so make sure you go there and check it out on discord uh, apart from this uh, we'll also be uh you know starting uh, our trading contest back again and a lot of the uh, other in game activities that we've uh, been having before um that's most of it from uh, you, know, you know from us uh, like we hope you guys are excited for what all's coming and uh, uh, we hope you are looking forward to all the features uh, that are announced uh, in the call today uh so uh, we'll also be sharing a recording and transcript of this call uh so you guys can those who have missed out can also catch up uh, through that uh i guess uh, that's it for uh, can, can, one one thing i just want to uh, convey Kevin. so just sure. now i gone through these uh, chat like what is happening and like uh, uh if you users already uh, are speculating about this water price and i just want to uh convey that right what and all i said like a water example is just uh, just i'm saying it as an example please don't take anything as a granted and to please don't take it as a tip so just for example sake right i have explained like this is how it is and this is how the value creation will be so and uh, in crypto market right nothing we can able to predict actually anything can happen in the crypto market so please uh, uh, don't speculate much actually don't take your calls and speculation thank you you guys are all awesome thank you over to you kevin all right uh, i guess yeah that's it uh, for our call for today uh, we hope you guys uh, are uh, you know like this stuff and we'll be uh, i mean we are uh, back on telegram after a very long time uh, we have also been on other channels so if you are on discord do uh, join us there we uh, will be having some calls over there we are also like uh, pretty much active on all socials also so if you are there uh, do join in and uh, we can connect uh, there as well uh, 
all right uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, uh we hope you guys have a great day